all right guys another part three of the video today and guys this is how it looks like so i'm gonna show you how everything works now with this one old device we already got this guy already geared up and one interesting thing i'm gonna show you this is one of the thing that goes to the din rail so yellow thing and it has like a push button stuff or style and which is uh, which is uh, really interesting when you set the thing by the time you anchor anchor the uh, anchor the, the top right here you can hear this thing automatically snap for itself you don't have to push them yellow things right away and they're gonna snap back for themselves and I want you to experience that with me um, you might probably see that happen again so um let's go about and do it see this thing you always go like this first and bring it down okay you hook it up at the front at the top here it has a latch this first thing has to reach into that like this okay make sure you align it right and when you snap this thing down at the camera and see how you guys can able to see that so we snap this thing sun goes like this do you hear it do you just hear them they pop in right away in so they automatic automatically shoot in right away you don't have to go back and push them like this see what i'm saying now it's already attached it's not just easy to take them out completely. So, um, you can hear the pop. To prove me wrong, you can do it yourself and try it and see. This is how the breakers already in and they look beautiful and everything looks really perfect. And uh, just like any, um, you can do it. Just like any of the originals come from the the factory this is how it's set up well it's another video for you guys i hope you like it and you learned something give it a a shot give it a thumbs up give it a like and uh share the video to everybody how to go about this and uh this is for uh, midnight classic or midnight classic 250 and 200 these breakers are not for 150s, okay? These are 250 volt to 300. They can handle that because of the hyper voltage of each uh, um, uh, 200 or 250 Midnight Classic. For Midnight Classic 150, like uh, 150, you can use a 150 volt breaker or anything that. Uh, with um, um, Midnight Kit, they can use... Uh, the 150 breakers but well, this one goes to 250 to 300 live from minnesota jw solo usa look at that everything is well anchored and uh it looks good you have um, the ground terminals right here so your solar pv negatives come here comes right there zoom in see okay focus and it comes right here you tie them here it's not like because you see these breakers like a duo you can put a positive and negative in here no that's not how you're supposed to do it was well, only one wire comes in here one wire is the positive from the PV and the negative comes here and here is your ground at ground okay the at ground goes there to ground your solar panels or to ground if this one happens to be inside you can ground your equipment in here so okay they all have the ground boss bar and you got a big knockout you can able to a big one uh i think it's a two uh, uh, two and a half inches two and a half inch then you can have like one inch or whatever and uh guys there is one on the side and one on the side here too so you can go through here with a one and a half inch 
if you go directly coming from a wall right here or you can come through down here with a conduit so i hope this one makes sense to you guys and uh you like what you see feel free to subscribe you know ask questions i can do the best i could to answer you and if i didn't respond right away just because i'm busy with a lot of projects i'm working on and uh i hope uh you pardon me for that so guys these are the extra breakers i have remaining here or left for other projects or for the future or future install live here at the jw solo usa thanks for watching i love you guys all and please like the video share it and subscribe so stay tuned for more to come and see how the entire process play okay so these are the extra breakers here good breakers lovely 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 breakers so yeah thanks for watching oh well, speaking about it then you can end up come up with this and uh get it right there and just pop the holes for these ones and it depends if you just want to use two breakers or you want to use uh two breakers so this is one it's considered as one here this is like one breaker okay so a second breaker here a third breaker that's how i said it earlier on my video or, or the first video that for the 250 and the 300 breakers for midnight classic 200 and 250 so only three breakers here they said six but it's three because two in one two in one so if you want to go single breakers you can put uh 15 or 20 uh, 63 amp or 80 amp and uh, 100 amp whatever you want to do you can just pop any of these guys to give you the the flexibility to do that okay so but um it's six breakers if you go single breaker like this you can see the cut right there so it's like a one breaker single breaker you can put six of them but if you want to go this way then it's about uh um you 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 you're having a three breaker here all right stay tuned while well, we're going to be doing some other stuff in the um the next video how to go about and arrange all of these and put all things together and um go about the entire process with um the midnight solar mn pv six look at that uh, okay mnpv6 250 and even have the mnpv10 1000 and mnpv4 1000 mnpv2 1000 mnpv12 they're like a 12 strings you see so this is how everything works guys thank you thank you and thank you for being part of my channel love you guys all as always jw solo usa live from minnesota bye for now